Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize some of the many data fields that are available in the Garmin Phoenix 5 series. As you can see here, straight from the Garmin website, there's hundreds of data fields to choose from. Now this is particularly useful when building an app to track a particular sport or an activity which isn't covered by the factory installation. Now going back a few years, I used to own a Garmin Phoenix 2 watch. Now one of the features that's missing on the Garmin Phoenix 3 and the Garmin Phoenix 5 series is its ability to track geocaching. So I thought I'd use this as an example in showing you how to build your own custom applications, making use of some of the data fields available. Now one of the things that's needed when you're geocaching is the ability to see the clues and the hints needed to find the actual geocache. Now in order to do this, I'm going to use an app from the Garmin Connect IQ website called Notes R485. Now this is what's called a widget, and this is very important in this use, because you can use it at the same time as an application is open, and then cut back to the application. So we'll go ahead and download the widget and install it onto the watch. Now as well as the installation on the watch, you'll also need a companion app on your mobile phone, and this is available for both Apple and Android systems too. Now there is a small charge on iTunes for this app, but on the Android system it's free. Okay, next we're going to log on to geocaching.com. Now once you set yourself a profile up, it's very easy to use this website. All you need to do is type in a particular location where you want to start your geocaching from. So in this case, I'm going to use my home location. And it will bring up all the geocaches in the surrounding area. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a local geocache called Rascal's Nest. Now once you click on it, it will take you to a page which will give you a brief description of the geocache and additional hints and a clue. Now to decrypt the clue, we'll just press the decrypt button and then we can see it. Now this is the information we want to transfer to the watch. So we click on the R485 Notes app and type in the information needed. So I'm going to type in the geocache name, the clue, and the hint needed. Once this is done, I'm just going to press the send button, and that sends the information to the watch. So once the geocache details have been added onto the notes widget onto the watch, we can then go about downloading the GPX file with the location of the geocache. So click GPX file, and then open the downloaded file. Now this should open the Garmin Basecamp program. So all we need to do here is right click on the geocache, and send to device. Choose the correct device, and press send. So let's have a look at setting the custom application up. So we press the start button, which brings us to the app selection screen. And then we're going to scroll all the way down through the favorites and continue scrolling down until we get to the green plus. So we select that. So in this new screen, we can choose to add any of these additional applications, but I want to create my own. So scroll back up to copy activity. I'm going to copy the navigation app, so scroll down to navigation. Now this is because in geocaching you have to navigate to a particular location. Now in this next screen I can choose to name the new application. So I delete navigate and I'm going to input geocache. Now once the name has been entered, I can then move on to the data screens. Now first of all I choose the layout of the data screen, and I can choose between 1, 2, 3 or 4 data fields to be displayed at the same time. Once I've chosen the layout, I can then decide on which fields I want to display. So in the top field, I'm going to display the timer. 
Now in field number two, I'm going to display the distance remaining to the geocache I'm looking to locate. Now as you can see, there's plenty of different data fields on the watch you can choose from. Now in addition to all the data fields that are stored on the watch, you can also add more from the Garmin IQ website, and more and more are being added all the time. So in field number three, I'm going to display the distance I've actually travelled. Now once this is done, I press the back button and I can move down to the next screen. And again we can choose the layout and the data fields displayed on this screen. Now when creating an application, you can choose to display several screens. So this should give you all the information that you need when covering a particular activity. So the data fields I've chosen to display on my geocaching app are the timer, the distance remaining before I get to the geocache, the distance I've travelled, the destination location in coordinates, the location of the actual geocache in coordinates, the heart rate, the map which is only applicable to the Garmin Phoenix 5X, on the Garmin Phoenix 5 and the Garmin Phoenix 3 it will show you your trail, and also the destination waypoint or the geocache name. And last but not least, the compass. So moving on from inputting the data fields, we can choose various different functions of the watch to further customise the application. And again there's plenty to choose from. Now as well as choosing the information we can see on the application, we can also choose how the application looks by choosing its background colour and choosing the accent colour of the app. Now I'm going to change this to green. And once we've created the app, we just select Done. And we can set it as a favourite. And we can also choose whereabouts in the application menu it appears. So I'm going to move it up. And put it just below the navigation app. And press the select button. So that's the custom application created. So next we're going to have a look to see how the geocaching app works and how this ties in with the notes widget we downloaded earlier on in the video. So let's set the watch up and start geocaching. So we press the start button and select geocache and then move down to save locations and select the geocache we're trying to find. We wait for the watch to get satellite fix and then press the start button. So let's have a quick look through the screens to make sure all the data fields are functioning as they should be. Now that everything appears to be working fine, let's be on our way. Now one of the screens I like to use when geocaching is the big blue arrow, which shows you the direction you need to be travelling in to find it. Then closer to the location, I switch to the data field showing the coordinates and the trick is to match the lower coordinates to the upper coordinates with a destination location. As we approach the geocache's location, the watch will indicate that we're nearby. And here's where the notes widget comes in. While the geocaching app is running, we can long press the down button, which takes us to the widgets, and check for the clues which will pinpoint the geocache's location. And then we simply press the back button, which will go straight back to the geocaching app. So after a quick look around, I was able to pinpoint the geocache's location in between two branches. And as the description said, it was in a small camouflage bag. Next thing to do was open the bag, open the box, and then make sure I signed the geocache's log. After this was done, I then return the geocache back to its original position. I hope that's helped, and this enables the Phoenix series of watches to be able to use for many different sports and activities which aren't immediately apparent. If you have any questions on this video, or any questions you'd like answered in future videos, please let me know in the comments section below. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.